fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Bruce Lee, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. Herb Wait, Dean, our referee for this one. Wait. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hip really fast to get that leg up real quick to the target. Oh, side kick. Well timed there. And now some separation. And blocks the shot there. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Another punch to the head. Man, both fighters realizing a lot of success early. Back and forth we go. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Another big body kick lands. Got the single collar tie. Huge knee land. Just missed with the left there. Looked like that body kick got home. Oh, head kick, bang. Three minutes now to go in this one. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're going to try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. It got defended as you would expect it to. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going. Clean with the strikes tonight. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Oh, another stiff jab here. That's about as good as it gets with that weapon. Two minutes to go here in round one. Nice jab there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Beautiful high kick. Oh, got to be careful taking too many of those leg kicks. Let me see that hook now. Elbow attempt now. That one blocked by Lee. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Ooh, head kick lands and hurt. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that is possible. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
trying to hammer that big leg. Tags him with the uppercut. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, and another punch by Lee. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot to it. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Under 20 seconds now to go. 15 seconds remain in the round. Lee gets caught by that straight hand. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times can you say punch to the head? Round two straight ahead. All right, take a seat, buddy. Breathe for me. Get some water. Perfect. How do you feel? Awesome. Your cardio was great, dude. Keep that pressure. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. Well, new round, same narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. Offense is on the menu tonight. Back and forth we go. There's that body shot. Oh, nice jab. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. He's in a lot of trouble now. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. He passed the half guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Oh. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Big ground and pound. And he will let his opponent stand up here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. They are going at it with each other. These two guys want to end the fight very fast. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good jab there by the champion. 
gets the inside leg kick to land there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deterred him from keeping on throwing those kicks. Nice punch to the head. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, a headhunter, he is not beautifully done as he attacks the bottom line. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart, he's so disciplined, you kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Gotta love how it's playing out between these two offensively-minded fighters early. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. The slip and then the counter by Lee. All right, round three coming up next. All right, everybody, take a seat. Deep breath. Breathe. All right, let's get him some water. Take a drink. All right, here we go. Listen, you're doing absolutely awesome. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the elbow. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the oh! Ooh! He's gonna get himself knocked out. He got to take a moment. He's going to get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. I need more oh, nice jab there by Lee. Oh. Huge block there. Let him go. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Active here in the clinch, and he lands a big shot to the head. Oh, nice inside low kick. Yeah. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. To the body, and it lands. Three minutes to go in round three. Another nice kick there. Solid series of kicks. They're all landing now. On point with that jab today. Back and forth we go. Push kick there to the body. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh! 
Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All the separation of the clinch. And there's a takedown attempt. Try to establish that jab. Hook lands. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's lead the dance. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, nice. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Controlling the fight behind that jab. Oh, single collar tie here. Real quick leg kick. 15 seconds. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Right, let's listen. You are winning this fight. I need you to stay doing what you're doing. All right? He's very open to body shots right now. I want you to go out there, and I want you to keep moving. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go, fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now, 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Lee's shot there is blocked. Beautiful kick to the body. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. He gets to the flying knee. Oh, you land, I land is how we're doing here. And that one certainly found the target. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cow tie. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. 
Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. He gets in a single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Big power shot there. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Good stick. He's hurt. He's wobbling. And that spinning kick found its home up top. Ooh. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Nice block. No defense. These two are going back and forth. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Don't back off. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red, is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You gotta get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Nice combination of kicks there by Lou. All right, single collar time now. Leg kicks all day, his mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's gonna take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh, when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Really good job by the fighter to land that kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Leg kick lands, nicely done. Ooh, what a punch. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Fast jab lands there. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? Another strike to the head lands. 10 seconds to go in round four. Oh, 20 God. minutes down, five to go. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now, the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there, should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fifth and final round. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, he continues to find his timing here. Series of strikes, they all land. There's the jab. Now another for good measure. Nice job there by Lee. Could be the beginning of the end here. Oh, huge left. Good job defensively to block that punch. Right on the button. Back and forth we go. Collar tie here in the clinch. He's going after the head. Yeah. 
That one snuck in. Nice strike. That was a big check. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot there. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going out, go out on your shield. Don't just walk backwards. Go forward. Make him fight you. Checks the leg kick. Yes, the single collar tie now. Some nice back and forth action here. Lands to the body. Oh, side kick. Well done. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Straight to the body by Lee. Two minutes now to go in this one. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense. Massive flying knee. Trying to establish that jab once again. Slips. Lands a nasty body kick. Well, that lead leg is compromised at this point in time, as is his mobility. That bruising is out of control. He wants to switch stances, but he's not as good on the opposite side. So he could try to protect the leg, but then all of his other weapons are not nearly as effective. He's got some questions to answer now. Oh, that's a beautiful land downstairs with the kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Continuing to work the body here. One minute to go in the fight. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Well, at this point, it seems as though it is toughness that is carrying him through. His thigh is mangled. I'm not sure how much he can take. He, he won't be able to take much more, J.A. This fight's pretty much over. I understand that he's going to switch his stances, but then he'll switch back. I understand that he's going to try and defend, but it's too late. Everything that lands from this point forward is going to be so damaging that it will ultimately lead to this fight being finished. Another big point. 15 seconds to go. He passes to half guard. Side control now. What a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! 
So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all...